Flying cars are a popular theme in fantasy and science fiction stories, but that doesn't mean flying cars will remain sci-fi because we are now closer than ever to making flying cars a reality. Recent advances in lithium-ion batteries have opened the door to flying car development, and a flying car named Black Fly from an aviation startup opener looks promising, and it may soon hit the market. So join us as we check out the features of this exquisite Black Fly and flying cars development from other aviation companies. Flying cars have captured the imaginations of designers and drivers since the pioneering age of motoring. Combining a road vehicle with flight seems like the perfect solution to congested routes, saving time for everyone. Many prototypes have been built since the early 20th century using a variety of flight technologies, such as distributed propulsion. Some have true vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL performance. Even their appearance is often predicted by futurologists, with their failure ever to reach production, which makes flying cars a popular theme in fantasy and science fiction stories. However, the latest entrant into the race is a nine years work of a Silicon Valley company, Opener, dubbed Black Fly. Led by Canada's Marcus Lang, the company is among the numerous entries that aim to ease transportation by allowing passengers to explore the skies and to avoid hefty traffic. The aviation company also promises to make personal transportation easy and cheap, just like every electric vehicle. But before we get into that fully, let's look into the extraordinary features of the Black Fly craft. The company has made significant progress with its electric-powered vertical takeoff and landing and has dubbed the aerial vehicle a personal flying car, as it can carry only one person at a time. It's been designed to carry a passenger measuring 6 feet 6 inches tall and over 100 kilograms in weight. The electric aircraft itself is 13 feet 7 inches wide and 13 feet 5 inches long and weighs about 155 kilograms. The Black Fly craft is powered by eight propellers attached to two wing-like pylons, taking the place of a front and rear axle on a car, with four propellers fitted to each pylon. The craft takes off vertically, then transitions to forward flight, with the wings providing some lift. Vertical fins on the two wingtips assist in steering, but it's mostly the work of propellers to orient the craft. Although the propellers don't look that powerful, they can move quite a lot of air. Just like its name, the vehicle does use minimal force as it can take off and land in an area spanning just 36 inches, and that too on a wide range of surfaces such as grass, asphalt, snow, and ice. According to the automaker, the Black Fly has been tested autonomously and with human pilots on board in hundreds of test flights. Riders can cruise in the flying car at a speed of over 128 kilometers per hour, even in the winds, racing more than 32 kilometers per hour, and temperatures soaring up to 30 degrees Celsius. Black Fly can fly up to 40 kilometers or 20 miles at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour, which represents the current limitations of battery technology. But the Black Fly is an aircraft, and that means it needs to use a smaller battery to reduce weight, and its battery is just 8 to 12 kilowatt hour. Overall, the concept is similar to a scaled-up drone, and that's what makes the Black Fly different. The Canadian automaker wants to make flying cars a reality, so unlike past attempts, Opener isn't trying to match the capabilities of a car. The Black Fly doesn't go very far or very fast, but it's all electric, and it can move both on air and as air. The most promising aspects of this flying car concept are the ease of use and the price. Its developers say that people can learn to fly it in a matter of minutes, and that's when it goes on sale. It will cost about the same as an SUV, but the company doesn't mention the particular SUV brand. Also, a pilot's license likely won't be required, but the company will mandate buyers to complete a familiarization course and a standard written exam for FAA private pilot license. There's also an autopilot system that can land the vehicle in an emergency or transport you home. The design is modular with three backup control systems. The company hasn't offered details on what it would cost to get your own Black Fly or when it'll take orders for the aircraft. Aside from Opener, there are plenty of companies working on flying cars. Japanese car giant Toyota has already invested and backed up the flying car company Joby Aviation. Based in Santa Cruz, California, Joby Aviation is one of the handfuls of startup companies in the race to develop electrically powered, low-noise vehicle cars capable of vertical takeoff and landing. Joby's flying taxi is designed to seat four passengers and operates on electrical power alone. Joby quotes a range of more than 150 miles and speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. And the company has said it has already conducted over 1,000 successful test flights. Volocopter, a German aircraft manufacturer based in Bruxelles, 
has also taken a major step toward realizing its plan of launching a flying taxi service using electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Volocopter's first aircraft is a Volo City, designed for short inner-city flights. The company is also developing the Volo Connect for longer flights and the Volo Drone for transporting goods. The flying car maker is also planning an autonomous flying system for its aircraft, though initially there will be a human pilot in control. Volocopter has already demonstrated a prototype for the Volo City, and it has a range of 17 miles and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. Volocopter has also shown a more advanced design capable of 22 miles of range and a top speed of 68 miles per hour. Just imagine driving to your local airport, but instead of heading to the car park, you head to one of the runways for takeoff. Such a scenario has taken a major step towards becoming reality with Klein Vision Aviation Company, having flown a prototype for its flying car dubbed Air Car between two cities in its home of Slovakia. The Air Car prototype made a successful flight from an airport in Nitra to an airport in Bratislava. The distance by road between the two airports is approximately 60 miles, and the Air Car was able to complete the trip in 35 minutes. Flying at an altitude of 8,200 feet and hitting a maximum cruising speed of 118 miles per hour. SkyDrive, a Japanese flying taxi startup backed by Toyota, has also recently successfully demonstrated a prototype vehicle conducted a manned flight for the first time. The prototype, codenamed the SD3, is essentially a piloted drone, big enough to fit the pilot only. However, SkyDrive plans to develop a two-seat version that could potentially offer short-distance flights across busy cities as early as 2023. The SD3's first manned flight saw the vehicle only reach a few feet off the ground. It also flew within a protected cage, located at a Toyota test site in Japan, and was in the air for only four minutes. The goal of the designers was to create the world's smallest vehicle capable of manned flight, vertical takeoff and landing, and fully electric operation. SkyDrive SD3 takes up the space of two parked cars and features eight rotors. SkyDrive said the SD3 has a maximum flight time of 10 minutes, but the company is looking to get this up to around 30 minutes for commercial flights. SkyDrive is also looking to make its flying taxi fully autonomous by 2030. Hyundai Motor Group is among the automakers developing a flying taxi. It even established an urban air mobility division headed by NASA veteran back in 2019 and predicts that it will have a commercial service for flying taxis in operation by 2028. Recently, the company revealed that it has teamed up with a company in the United Kingdom by the name of Urban Airport to develop the infrastructure required for flying taxis. Part of the partnership will be the development of the Air One Urban Airport, which is set to be built in Coventry in the United Kingdom in 2022. So, what did you think about Blackfly? Do you think it will soon become a reality? What do you think about the flying cars from other companies? Let's hear your views via the comment section.